Hello friends. Happy Tuesday. Quarantine Tuesday. Okay, so I'm going to share this to my other pages so nobody misses out. And then we'll get started. All right, I'm gonna share this to my personal Facebook page, which is just called Rhea Coleman. So make sure we're friends there. I know my friends list is like full, but you can um, click the follow button and it's like exactly the same thing as being friends. So make sure you shoot me a follow on my personal Facebook page. And then I'm also gonna share this to my beauty group, which is like my VIP group. I actually just finished doing a really fun flash sale there. It's already done, sorry guys, but make sure you guys are in that group. It's not a page, it's a group, so make sure you're in that too. Um, so you don't miss out on fun things like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and post my shopping link right here in the comments. So everything you're about to see is gonna be available right there. And then I'm gonna give this back to my kids, hold on. Ricey, here's your iPad. Okay, so how's everybody doing this morning, morning, afternoon, whatever? Is there really time in this twilight zone we're in right now? <laughs> Does time really matter? It's weird, I've been like, usually I, I am a, I'm a hard worker. I usually work pretty much all day, but I don't mind it because I love what I do and I love you guys. Um, but the last like, since we've been home, I feel like the days like fly by like yesterday I looked up and it was 7 p.m. I was like where did today go <laughs> has anybody seen it and then the day before that same thing it was like five o'clock okay Haley see you soon thank you but when you do pop on go ahead and, and say hi let me know where you're watching from uh, make sure you click the share button in your bottom left hand corner helps me out so so much when you guys do um, and then if you know anyone who's at home and you think would enjoy a makeup tutorial go ahead and invite them to watch or you can um, click the share button and share it to their page I am like so appreciative of word of mouth especially with right now um, I'm a small business too just trying to provide for the kids so <laughs> I appreciate you guys so so much for watching commenting liking even that is a huge huge help so I know um, like right now is a very like hard time for a lot of people so even if all you can do to support is just share the my live video I am so so appreciative so thank you for clicking that button um, or inviting your friends to watch um, yes we are all confined at home Thanks for the beauty floss recommendation. Yay! So I'm actually gonna do that today because I've been actually recommending that a lot lately. So I thought that um, I would show you guys how to do that. So today we're gonna use the Liquid Touch and the BB Flawless um, in combination with one another. It's a really incredible combination, especially if you have um, difficult skin. Let's just call it difficult. <laughs> a nice way of putting it right um if you no matter what you do what you're using it's just not sitting right it's just not looking right um this combination will be right it is so full coverage it is so hydrating yeah it's matte it's literally the best of all worlds so what it is such here i'll go ahead and get started so we don't just sit here and chit chat but I also had in the description of this, I want to hear what you guys want to see. Um, so we're all at home. So let me hear it. Let me hear what you guys want um, to see here on my page. What kind of makeup looks. So go ahead and just jot them out in the comments. Um, and then when I get off, I will try to rifle through them and, and uh, get some good content for you guys. Till Monday, my quarantine will be over. Oh, nice for you, Leslie. That's awesome. We are stuck here for like two more weeks. <laughs> I don't really mind that. The only thing that I wish was like better was that our backyard was done because I wish that the kids just had more room to like run. Uh, <laughs> you're funny, Mary. Do you use bisque in the BB? Yes. Hey girl, working from home, listen to Rhea. Oh, thank you, Jean. Appreciate you. Order the violet shampoo. Will it stay in my tub and shower? No, it will not, surely. Can't wait till Monday. Oh, I already did that one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So like I said, we are gonna talk BB Flawless. So first things first, on my powder concealer brush, I have my BB Flawless, and yes, I'm using the shade Bisque. So what's cool about this foundation is it is a thicker consistency, as you can see. Um, it is going to be more of a light to medium coverage, and it is technically a CC cream. Like, it's a tinted moisturizer. So when I um, am on vacation, or if I just am doing... Um, 
like no makeup that day. I really love this because it reduces redness. It will even out your skin tone. It's not super heavy, but it is very hydrating. So if you do have um, uh, oily skin, it might not be the best product for you to use by itself, but I have oily skin and you can mix it the way I am. So if you have dry skin, mature skin, this is amazing. Um, because of the consistency of it, it's not gonna settle in your fine lines and wrinkles as much. Um, so this is a really great option. For you to use so i use that on my powder concealer brush at first and then i'm going to squeeze just like three drops of my liquid touch in the shade lace right on top of that so i like to do the liquid touch on top of the bb flawless because the liquid touch is going to be um a thinner consistency so the liquid touch is what we use in the shade lace and this is going to be more of a matte coverage it goes on liquid dries into a powdery finish but not like a chalky powdery so you don't have to worry about it feeling or looking cakey um this is a good option for oily to normal skin so if you are combination or like i said if you have difficult skin and no matter what you're doing nothing is just looking right or looking full coverage or you're like oh my gosh ray i've tried everything and i can't cover this sunspot or age spot or acne scar whatever this combination will in fact cover it. it is so full coverage but what i love too is that because both of these foundations are so easily buildable you can um pair them together and you're not going to feel heavy you're not going to look cakey it doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup it is so lightweight on your skin it doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask i'm just super busy with my tomorrow oh i'm sorry Nicole, it breaks my heart. Um, is this uh, clean makeup? Yes. Thanks for being live. Gives something to do. Yes, of course. Gives me something to do too. <laughs> uh, I use my BB cream today. It's so nice. How about you pretend you have an aging skin and show us how to highlight under your eyes to prevent creasing? Um, yes, I can give you tips for that, Erin. Um, I would like to see your hair after you use the violet. I actually have a tutorial on that, um, surely on my YouTube channel and here on Facebook under Raya Hope. Just saying, oh, thank you. How many ounces? Um, let me see. Where does it say that? I know it does. Oh, there it is. Uh, 1.69 fluid ounces in the BB Flawless, and then there is 0.68 fluid ounces in the Liquid Touch. On stay home orders in New York, who know how long I know, right? Okay, I think I caught up. And yes, it is still free shipping um, for the, till Friday, till the 27th. So if you have yet to order, make sure you get your order in. There's no minimum either. Even if you picked up like one thing, one small thing, you are good to go. All right, so now I'm going to just grab a little bit more just for that super full coverage look. I'm just gonna disperse this a little bit just to get it off my brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my blending bud. So now this next step, and I'm just like wiping whatever is left over on this bud. Now this next step is so crucially important for getting a super smooth finished look. So we're gonna go in with the blending bud. Now I rang mine underneath the water. So no water, or it's not like wet. There's no like water dripping when I squeeze it. Um, but it is damp. So what this does, it's not only uh, buffing the makeup into your skin, but it's also adding a little bit of hydration and moisture into the makeup as well. So it's not looking or feeling dry. Um, it's going in very intentionally over the skin so it's gonna look super duper smooth. So if you do have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, this guy is so important. And these are not like your everyday beauty blender. You can't get the same thing at like Walmart or Sephora or wherever. These are made from a different like material. You get two when you buy them, you get the large and the small, which is perfect for concealer, which we're gonna use here in a second. Um, but they just, they really do make the makeup go on so incredibly smooth. Yes, lace in the liquid touch and bisque in the BB your brush cleaning oh thank you what brush is that again this is called the powder concealer brush this is going to be under my website under tools which i really enjoyed watching you thank you terry mature skin for sure i've used some time can't use the conceal too thick remember the powder concealer oh good idea um uh, can you tell me what was the combination yes so i'm using the liquid touch foundation in the shade lace and then i'm wearing the bb flawless complexion enhancer in the shade bisque so that's what i'm putting on my skin right now and you can already see how incredibly full coverage and flawless this foundation coverage is it seriously just completely mutes any discoloration 
any redness, hides any blemish. It's already so incredibly great. Um, so now for my tired mama eyes, what I love to use is the Skin Perfecting Concealer. And I only use like that much. You don't need a ton of this. You're going to warm it up in your fingers. And then I just tap this on my under eye just like this. Now, if you have like leftover or if you need a little coverage anywhere else, like I had some redness from my sunburn on my nose, so I'm going to pop some there. Um, so again, that was the Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza. Got the text? Yes, I sent out the text today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm taking so much more pride in my makeup application since following you. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Made of latex. No, they're not. They almost feel like wetsuit material. Which one did you grab an extra? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking, Karen. Can we what a difference as blending beds make? They really, really do make a huge difference for sure. I know the numbers are crazy all over. I know. It's so, so sad what's going on. But all we can do is remain positive and wash your hands. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I'm going to just blend this in. And again, I'm using the smaller blending bud for this step. And you can already see how much more full coverage this makes your under eye. It literally makes you like a little porcelain doll. So we have all of that on. And again, our blending buds is how we're gonna apply that. So now we're going to make sure that everything sits and stays all day long. So someone asked me what to do at this point for um, if you have um, mature, under eyes. So at this point, what you could do is you could take your blending bud and you are going to spritz it with your rose water. So you're going to spritz it with the rose water. It's going to add a little bit of moisture, but more moisture than like your setting spray would. So we're going to spray our blending bud with that. So just pretend I did that. Um, for if you have um, more oily skin, what you can do is just spritz your, it's a brand new bottle. There we go. Um, you're going to spritz it with the Touch Behold, this guy right here, the Touch Behold Setting Spray. And then I'm going to use my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. I popped the cap off mine so I could bake with it. But if you do have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, like I said, you're going to spray with your rose water on the blending bed. And then you're going to use the Press Powder, which I'm going to show you here in a second. But for those who have oily skin, what you're going to do is you're going to take a blending bud and you're going to bake with this. So what this is called, like I said, is baking. So it's essentially just taking a lot of translucent setting powder and popping it all over the place. And this is going to absorb any of those natural oils and just absorb any humidity or sweat um, or anything that's going to cause your makeup to look shiny or greasy or oily or come off altogether. This also is a really good preventative for um, keeping your makeup from transferring when you hug someone or when you're on the phone um, or anything like that. Also is a really good trick if you wear glasses to pop a lot of this in those glasses areas um, to kind of create a barrier between your glasses and your foundation so it doesn't stick and like pull off all your foundation there. So that's another little trick -a What you can also do, I wish I had glasses right next to me, but you can take them, you know, where it sits on the nose, take your uh, setting powder, grab a little bit of it, and then rub it on the glasses themselves when you put them on. So that's another little trick. Yay, you ordered a matte primer, so excited. Yes, the setting powder is super, super good. So like I said about mature skin, so what you are gonna wanna do is spritz your blending bud with that rose water, and then you are going to take it, so we're pretending we have rose water on this. Then we're gonna take our Mineral Touch Press Powder in the lightest shade. So right now the lightest shade available is the shade Organza, um, which would work really great. And, oh, I will, thank you for telling me. And then you're gonna take that on there and you're just gonna press this underneath. I really do like this beauty blender for this step because of how soft this is. So it doesn't rub away any of your makeup. Um, it also acts as a really great brightener for your under eye as well. So. Um, I really love using that. So Mineral Touch Pressed Powder, and then we had just, this one's by Real Techniques. You can get this out on Amazon or Walmart.com. Um, they're pretty inexpensive too. I actually need to order a new one. Um, but, so that's how you're going to do your under eye if you do have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on the under eye. So, we're going to just fan brush that away. This fan brush is so, so good. Setting powder is so messy. Yes, butter knife. 
Um, yes, butter enough, butter enough. I've been waiting. Sorry, what's your market? Uh, Susanna, send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. That is, if that goes for anyone, if you need any help picking out products or makeup or whatever, just send me a selfie facing the window and let me know what kind of skin you have. Do you have oily skin, dry skin, etc.? And then I can give you a full recommendation on what products to get. If you have fine lines and oily skin, I would use a setting powder like I did. Um, I need the rose water to add my under eye routine. Yes, the rose water is amazing and it, it acts as a really great hydrator. Scarlett is just out of stock right now. I think it comes back in stock at the end of the month. All right, so now I'm going to use my pressed powder in the shade Taffeta. And I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face. So this is the same exact product that I use in my under eye. But this is in like my true shade. And I'm using it on a big giant kabuki brush. Now what this does is it is going to completely set my makeup. It's going to mattify everything. And it's going to give us a more full coverage look. So if you're liquid, if you still feel like it didn't cover as well as you want it to, adding a pressed powder layer is going to for sure give you that really porcelain doll, soft, full coverage look. And what this also does is it keeps everything in a place longer as well. It also makes sure everything's melted together. So wherever you like highlight it, it doesn't look like you have a line there. It really just seals the deal. And this pressed powder is so incredibly silky soft. Even my ladies who have mature skin or dry skin love, love, love this pressed powder. It's, the formula on it is like nothing I've ever used before. It's so soft. Horse necklace. Oh, yay. It's my favorite. Can you send me my recommendation email? Excited. Oh, no, Julie. Um, yes, message me here on Facebook and I can recolor match you. Where'd you get the large cookie brush? Brittany, message me and I can give you the link to it. Yes, the pressed powder is seriously incredible. Love, love, love it. Hello, Linda. Um, do the quality of the brushes make a difference? Yes, they are amazing and they really last forever. So I know it might be... Um, a little bit of a splurge but honestly I've had this brush for four years four years so when you do the math on how much this costs and spread it out over four years it's a pretty good deal um they're really really good quality got the large kaboo brush yes do you use the skincare oh my gosh yes I am like the biggest advocate for our skincare only because of how much it's like changed my life um and I'm really I don't like to say that about a lot of things because I know like makeup doesn't change your life. It can, but for me, you know, whatever. So the skincare completely did. I used to be the type of person that wouldn't leave the house without wearing makeup because my dark circles were so incredibly bad. Um, and I really started to take my skincare seriously with the Uology line because you get to tailor it to you and your struggles, which I think is so cool. Um, so yes, long story short, yes, the skincare is amazing i actually have a skincare tutorial saved on my igtv my youtube i have it here on facebook i have it like everywhere so if you need it just message me and i can send that to you and then if you need a recommendation on what skincare to use to really start seeing results in your skin just message me and i can give you my my regimen that i personally i'm on um but i can also give you a recommendation on what would be good for you all right so now i'm just using my bronzer i'm using the beach from bronzer in the shade hermosa and i'm just uh, contouring my face. So what this does, you can already see how much more, um, blended this all looks. My skin doesn't look super washed out, super white. I start to have a lot of the bone structure back to my skin rather than it looking just kind of round and blown out. It looks much more tailored, much more tapered. So good. Skincare coming. Yay. No more color correctors. Exactly right, Rebecca. Yeah. If you've been with me for the long haul, I used to use color correctors to cover my dark circles and it wasn't until I started using the Uology line that I actually saw my dark circles starting to disappear. It was really, really cool. I have some before and after photos of it and it was really good. And yes, so if you don't love anything for any reason or if something doesn't work out with your skin or whatever the case may be, you can always return it for your money back. All right, so for your nose, and I'm using the tapered blusher brush for this step. And this is seriously makes your contouring so simple, so mindless. You do not need to be professional to do this. This brush does everything for you. 
and you can do as bold as you're wanting or as subtle as you want with your contour. I love a bold one though. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to use this color blush. I have to take some pictures for a company today, so I'm doing kind of like my photo style makeup look. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, but I'm going to use this color blush today. And this is in the shade Sisterly. So this blush is not currently in stock, but it will be in stock, I believe, by the end of the month. Um, so good. I will definitely be sending out a tax notification when it does come back. Again, it's the shade Sisterly. And if you want to get the text notification for when it returns, you're going to text Raya Hope to the phone number 25456. So you're going to text Raya Hope to 25456 and that will opt you in to receive my notifications. And I'm the one that sends them out personally. Like it's not a robot or anything. Um, so feel free to join that. I tell you guys sometimes when I go live, but um, I try to reserve the texts because they're really expensive to send out on my part. It's free for you guys. So don't worry about that. But um, yeah, so I'll definitely be telling you guys when this is coming back. It's my favorite blush. Look how pretty that is. Just gives you this most gorgeous, flush, highlighted glow. It's so, so good. I haven't tried to order it. So that, I know it sells out so fast because look how pretty that is. Do you guys remember the blush by, I think it was NARS. It was called or Orgasm. It's exactly like that, except this one's prettier because it's not like as heavy of a blush. It doesn't, like when you put it on, you're like, oh goodness, that's a lot of blush. <laughs> I don't have to blend all this out. It's very subtle. And all of the blushes are like that. So if you're not sure what blush color to get, just message me and I can tell you what would be best. Um, if you're looking for like a good everyday matte blush, the shade Seductive would be the best option. If you're looking for something more sheeny like this one, this shade Surreal is really pretty. And those are both in stock. All right, so now I'm using my Touch of the Mud Luminizer in the shade Lustrious. And this is the cream to powder formula. And I love, 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 love this guy. It's super pigmented. You get really gorgeous, glowy finish with this. Um, and if you do have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, the cream to powder would be your best option because it won't um, accentuate your fine lines anymore. So my picture so you can give me a recommendation. Yes, Heather, I would love to. I'm so excited. Um, did I hear the palette six is back? Uh, I'm not sure if it's returned. I think it's coming back in June, but I'm not sure. Ladies from Canada, how long does an order take to get to you? Um, so I've, I've heard that the orders have been taking any longer than usual. All of our warehouses are still open. Um, you should see them. They're like working in hazmat suits. Um, so don't be worried about any of that. But, um, yeah, so all orders are shipping regularly. Yes, I know, right? It looks such a scary color, and then you put it on so easy. So serene. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Rebecca. Um, definitely snag Sisterly. If you love the shade Serene, Sisterly is just the same. Um, but like I said, make sure that you um, sign up for my text notification so I can tell you when it's back in stock. Um, Palette 6 is back in stock. Is that what you're saying, Lindsay? Uh, do you have some, 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 some Absolutely, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, send me a message if you guys need any help picking out any of your shades. If you're for foundation, concealer, whatever, highlight, blush, you name it, um, just let me know. Okay, so that wasn't a bronzer. I'm sorry, I was like talking through that. That was the Touch of the Mode Luminizer. So it was a highlight. So what I like to do is I like to take the cream to powder and put that on first. And then I like to take this guy, the Touch of the Mode Luminizer and the powder. And I like to pop it right on top. It's my favorite highlight because it's like super bronzy and it just like accentuates the highlight. It really makes it pop. The number is, I'll write it out again, two, five, four, five, six. And then you're going to say Raya Hope. Raya Hope to two, five, four, five, six. So it's just like if, as if you were sending someone a text message. All right. So let's throw it on our brows. I always comb through my eyebrows before I do them. Gets out any foundation, which allows your pencil to kind of glide through easier. And then I like to take this metal side and I comb through my eyelashes like this. And what this does is it removes any sleepies that are in there and it makes your lashes go straight and not tangled. So when you do get in with your mascara, your mascara can glide through rather than getting stuck. Oh yeah, 10 days, that's perfect. It's three to five business days to ship. So you have to think of that. And it's business days, which is Monday through Friday. So Saturdays and Sundays don't count. 
But yeah, I usually get my orders within somewhere between five and 10 business days usually. Oh my gosh, the matte primer, I'm a huge fan. Big, big fan. <laughs> Super good, I have that on my skin today actually. And that launches on the first. So all my oily skin, big pore ladies, on the first you are gonna be, oh, hallelujah. Um, none of my business, but why do they charge you for text? So it's a, it's a service. Um, so I, yeah, I pay them to send out, it's like a notification service. Somebody got to make money. <laughs> I've seen dry and oily presenters say it works. So it's off for skin. I personally think that if you have dry skin, it would dry you out. That's my personal preference on it. Um, to each their own, give it a try. See how you like it. We do have the love it guarantee. So you can always return it for your money back. If it does in fact dry you out, like I think it will. Um, but I personally think if you have dry skin, you should use the hydrating face primer or the glorious face primer. So we're gonna have three as of the first. Right now we only have two. We have the hydrating face primer, which is good for mature skin and, and dry skin. And then we have the glorious face primer, which is good for normal to combination skin. And honestly, anyone can use that one. Like that one, really anyone can. Um, and then we are gonna have the mattifying face primer, which is what I have on today. And that one is incredible if you have large pores and um, and or oily skin. I personally like this makeup line better than MAC. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but MAC was invented for stage makeup, like for actresses and people on stage. And it's super duper heavy and it wasn't designed to be like good for your skin. Like it's not meant for your skin to breathe <laughs> underneath it. Um, so keep that in mind. Like if I know a lot of people that are like, I've been wearing MAC for this and this and I always struggle with breakouts. And then they try this line and make, their skin clears up. And they're like, wow, my skin is clear. I'm like, because your skin can breathe. <laughs> this makeup is meant for your skin to breathe. It's meant that it won't clog your pores. There's an ingredient in the foundations that don't allow it to clog your pores. There's actually an ingredient in the Liquid Touch that actually helps you age slower as well. Which, sign me up for that. Oh, I guess I'm not dry enough. Hydrating. Yes, so Samantha, you might like the mattifying. Got my rings on today. Yay! I'm just sitting in front of my window. I have my ring light on, but it's like literally here, I'll turn it off. You can tell it like doesn't it's not doing anything today. So that's my ring light off. So I'm just sitting here, I'll turn you around. See, there's a window. Studio and theater, yeah, exactly. Can you tell us about the cleanliness of the makeup? So I, I mean, I'm not a scientist, so I, and honestly, I'm terrible at reading those crazy long words. <laughs> but our makeup, I'm gonna turn this back on. It's kind of evening out my lighting. Um, oh, there we go. Um, but the makeup line is designed for, it's natural and science. So it's both, which I personally like. I find that sometimes if, like products that I'm using are too clean. They don't do anything, to be honest. They might be really clean, but they ain't giving me any coverage. <laughs> They're always more expensive. But this line is half, half and half. How do you send a selfie? All good, Susanna. So you're gonna tap on my face. A window should pop down and you're gonna click on my name. Um, once you see my name, click on it. And it's gonna take you to my profile. Once you get to my profile, you'll see an option to be able to send me a message there. So if you still can't figure it out, based on that, um, you can always go to my website, which is rayahopebeauty.com, at the very bottom of the website, you can send me an email. So I hope any of those made sense. And then you can also always message me on Instagram as well, if you know how to use that one better. Um, you can send me a DM there too. My name on Ray on Instagram is rayahope. Uh, yeah, it's a little cloudy today. Unique makeup feels like you don't have anything on. I've literally forgot that I still need to wash my face at night. I preach, girl. <laughs> Same. Samesies. There's definitely been times where I'm like laying in bed and my husband's like, are you going to take your makeup off? I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't even feel it. All right, so that was the eyeliner in Perfect and then the brow pencil in Medium. The um, brow pencil is incredible. It's 
so easy to use. It's so dainty, has retractable tips, so you never have to worry about sharpening it. And then the eyeliner is smudge proof, stays where you put it, doesn't smudge all over your under eye, making you look like a little raccoon. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> and it's part of the kudos. Can I use it for a toning conditioner with the violet shampoo? Yes, you can. You are gonna be really platinum and you're gonna look amazing. Clean products, meaning that it doesn't have like a bunch of chemicals in, in the makeup. Um, it goes by European standards as well, yes. So European makeup standards have like certain more things that you can't have in makeup, which I think is amazing. So unique products, because we are sold in Europe as well, our entire line goes by their makeup standards, not the US. You'd be amazed at what products are in your like cheap makeup brands that you get at like the drugstore or whatever because those products are like barely getting by with the U.S. standards. Really crazy. I'm not going to use sentimental today. I'm going to use my one of my favorite lip combinations because I have to take some photos today. Um, but I will swatch it for you if you're wanting to see the color. How do you determine what shade BB cream to wear? So the BB floss is super blendable so you can use either bisque or honey, and it probably would match just the same. But if you're not sure what to get, just message me a selfie facing a window, and I can recommend what color to grab. Yes, we are cruelty-free. Um, Kenny, or you read that one. Um, yes, I used to never wear foundation ever until recently when I found the BB cream and stick together. Yes, I love it. Um, unique makeup feel. Oh, I read that. Okay, so now it's time for our eyes. So I'm going to do this new eye look. I was thinking of what I wanted to wear in these photos that I have to take. And I was like, I want something that's really pretty that like just is very light and feminine. Um, so we're going to do this little eye look. I've never done it before, so hopefully it turns out good. So right now I'm using my, um fluffy crease brush and I'm taking this color right here which is astute which is part of the pressed eyeshadow line you can actually buy these colors individually or you can buy them in a palette and these are like custom cust I don't know how do you say that word customizable there you go <laughs> blonde uh customizable palette so you get to completely design them which I think is really cool so I'm just taking astute and I'm blending this out first and then I was going to go in with my liquid eyeshadows. Um, so I'm going to go in first with this one, which is called Overt. What brush do I want to use? Um, I use this one. You get so many compliments in our makeup. Oh, I love that. Love your blouse, satin sheen. Does it come in other colors? It does actually, Dawn. I will link my outfit over on my Instagram stories as soon as I get off here. Okay, so now I'm going to use this color right here. This is Overt in the Liquid Shadow. And I'm going to use this in the outer corner and then the crease. I've never done this before. I usually use them, like, all over. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to use the Fluffy Crease Brush. And I'm going to use this to blend this out. And I'm actually going to use a paper towel to blend this. U.S. only doesn't allow 13 products you're gonna yes exactly does your stylist put a color on your hair once she bleaches it so my stylist her name's Hannah she's amazing you guys she's so talented her Instagram handle is Hannah disconnected all one word and um she bleaches my hair my roots and um then we tone it so she has this bleach formula I don't know what it is and then I sit with that on my hair for like 30 minutes usually about ish and then I then she washes it with a purple shampoo by Lange and then we use a toner and then I sit with a toner on for like five minutes and then we uh, wash it with um, the heavenly conditioner by Lange wow that actually turned out really good <laughs> like I said I've never I've never blended these out with the brushes before I usually use my finger or the uh, cream brush but I had this idea and wow I really like that isn't that pretty mm -hmm, I like it um I know the liquid eyeshadows are so easy you guys if you have if you struggle with eyeshadow 
I am right there with you. It's It was not ever my strong suit. I always thought like, oh, I'll never be able to like have really pretty blended eyeshadow. <laughs> it's so hard. It was the same way. And it wasn't until these products, I'm telling you, you guys, these products make it so easy to learn and to use. They're like made for newbies, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna blend, wipe some of that off. But why do you use same color scheme? Do you ever do other colors? Maybe I just don't catch them. So yes, you haven't been catching them because I've actually been doing really crazy for me colors lately. I did a orange, um, really bright orange eye look the other day. And then the day before that, I did a really bright pink one. Um, I mean, I don't know too many people that like to rock like a blue and green eyeshadow on the regular. So I like to do tutorials that you can recreate at home, that you're gonna find useful, not just entertaining. Um, I will try to be more entertaining for you. <laughs> um, uh, I love the fluffy crease brush. Yes, I know, I think I like the fluffy crease brush a lot with these too. All right, so I'm just going to continue to blend this out. So it looks a little bit softer, so it matches. But look how much it makes my eyes pop. I really love this color. So it's more of like a muted brown. Okay, so once we have that, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Reverend, which is this really pretty kind of champagne pink. And I'm gonna take that on the lid. Just like that. And now I'm gonna use my cream brush this guy right here and all of these brushes are by unique and I'm going to use that to blend this out a little bit on top and if I haven't mentioned already these cream shadows are crease proof smudge proof so if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your eyelids or if you have hooded eyes these are going to be your BFF they're so easy to use and they're going to stay where you put them what was the first liquid shadow it was the color overt oh, okay Good, I'm glad you enjoy them. But yes, I do have it on my my uh, scheduling to do a crazy green eye look for you guys this month. Since you guys wanna see crazy, I won't give you crazy. All right, so reverent on the lid. And now I'm gonna take the cream brush again and just blend this out and make it soft and easy. And I'm not like using a firm hand. I'm not pushing super hard. I'm kind of just patting. Just patting it on there while it dries. I believe the liquid eyeshadows are 24 a piece. Don't quote me on that. I'd have to look it up. But they're in the 20s. And they're honestly going to last you forever. Because you need the smallest amount. When you use them. So now I'm going to use the cream brush again. And I'm just like upping the pigment on this. See how like brighter it is? And I'm not taking it all the way. See how I'm kind of like stopping in the mid of my lid to blend it out a little bit better. Just like that. Let's do entertaining this week since I'll get it. Yes, I will do a fun one for this for you guys this week. I just had some other in contracts that I have to fulfill today, so can't have green eyeshadow in these ads. <laughs> so in lockdown, yes we are. It's not really like lockdown. I guess it's more like, um, I don't know what they're calling it. It's more of like, hey, just stay home. <laughs> so when are they saying lockdown will be? Wisconsin, they gave us staying home until April 24th. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that I heard that they're going to reevaluate things on Monday. But I'm not sure. Um, do crazy. Okay, I'll do crazy this week. I promise. All right, I'm gonna just take a little bit of that color again. And I'm just going to, because I don't want it to, I want it to blend really nicely. I don't want it to look like it just like stopped. So I'm gonna, I'm using a super duper light hand with this part. Like I'm barely touching my face. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off whatever was on there. Only till the 6th. Yeah, I think we are only till the 6th as well. Yes, yeah, shelter in place. That's what it is. All right, so same thing here. Blend that out a little. And now I'm going to wipe. Actually, I'll just grab a new brush. I'm going to grab Unique's blending brush. 
I'm in California. San Diego. I always use Reverend and Exalted. Ooh, that would be pretty. All right, I'm just taking the blending brush from Unique. There's nothing on this. And I'm just kind of using a little bit heavier of a hand. And I'm just like going all, going ham on this eye. And this is just going to like soften everything up and make it look really blended. Okay. I was thinking of doing a swatch live where all I do is swatch things. <laughs> Would you guys like that? I've never done one and I'm a very visual person. Like I like to see colors, it, not in person, but I want to see them, um, not just like a picture of them. You know what I mean? Um, so I was thinking of doing that. Would you guys like, like to see that? So I'd like swatch a bunch of lipsticks, stuff like that. Okay, so now I'm going to use the liner shader brush and I'm going to use the color Nonsensical, which is this guy right here. And I'm just going to line my under eye with this. And this is just going to give it more of like that finished, smoky, cohesive look. And if you have yet to grab this brush, you guys, it is incredible. It makes doing this step so easy because of how dense and how tapered this brush is. And it's dual sided, so you can use the other side for eyeshadow as well. So it's a good bang for your buck. So again, it's the liner shader brush. Swatches, yes. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll do that this week as well. I've always done them pre-recorded. I've never done it live. But we can try that. Okay, cool. We'll do that then. All right, so now that we've done that, now I'm going to spritz my face. And now with a brand new um, setting spray, shaking it up is so important. Um, to be honest, I don't know why <laughs> it says it on the instructions and so I do it. And then I always kind of like spray a few times, like waste product. I realize that, um, because when it's brand new, it sprays very direct. So keep that in mind when you use it, but it does even out and it will start to spray in like a very nice spray <laughs> after you use it a few times. Also, I do like half pumps half pumps of it. It's not like going to douse your face. And then I always buy these little fans on Amazon, but I always like to, uh, set my makeup before I do my mascara. Cause I don't like when my mascara feels more wet after I spray. So I like to do this step first. Swatch eyeshadows and lipsticks. Yeah. So that's what I would do. Eyeshadows and lipsticks. I couldn't really swatch foundations just cause I don't have all the different colors on hand. I only have my colors. I used to carry all of them and then I realized I was just hoarding makeup and so I was just like, no, I'm just gonna keep what I use. There's no really point in using everything or keeping everything. Yes, liquid lipsticks is probably what I would swatch the most because those are mostly all in stock. Okay, so now for lashes. I want my lashes looking super large and in charge today. So what I like to do is I like to start with my lash primer. Now the lash primer is so important, just like it's a crime not to prime your face. Same goes for your lashes. It makes the biggest difference, not only on the length and volume you get, but it also helps to curl them and it helps to hydrate them. It is so incredible. So I like to take this at the base and I kind of push up like this. Uh, uh, <laughs> it helps to curl them by pushing them up like this, like fanning them out. And then you're also going to get much greater length and volume. The kids are great. They went on a bike ride around the block because our block is very busy with people and we haven't seen anyone in like 30 minutes around. It's like, I'm taking them. So he and the dog and the kids are riding their bikes. I always get mascara on my lid so I don't do eyeshadow. Girlfriend, you guys need this, um, this mirror right here. This is amazing. This mirror, I swear, has helped me apply my mascara way better. So it has like a tilt on it. So it tilts all the way this way, turns all the way that way, has a white LED light on it, um, has a bunch of storage. It's called the Gala. It's by a company called Fancy. Message me and I'll give you the link to it. And I have a coupon code so you guys can save. But I swear this mirror helps so much because of how high it is. You're not like bent over like this doing your makeup. You're looking down at yourself, but not like hunched over. So that really helps. And then you're going to want to tilt it up a little bit. So you are forcing your lashes back like that. So take your mascara, tilt down or whatever up. 
whatever direction this is. And you're going to keep your lashes outward. And then you're going to blink onto the wand. I really think that helps not get any mascara on your eyelid. Now, if you do get mascara on your eyelid, it's all good. You are not like, I was going to say you're not screwed. <laughs> it's not the nicest thing to say. But you are not out of luck. You can use your brow pencil, the little spoolie side. Wait for the mascara to fully dry on your eyelid. Then you're going to take your spoolie side of your brow pencil and you're going to scratch it off super softly. It will remove it ex like perfectly without messing up your eyeshadow. About the gala, yes, it's so good. Don't you love it? I always thought your hair was silver, but since the new home, I can see that it's platinum. Yes, exactly. If I leave my purple shampoo on too long, it does turn a little bit gray or silver. So it just depends like what hair regimen I did that day. <laughs> my hair does get really yellow really fast because we don't have like the cleanest water. I really want to get like one of those house water purifiers. It's on my to-do list. We got quoted for one in the last house and it was so expensive and I knew we were selling so we didn't do it but I was like the new house I really want to do it you ladies that live on well water I know you feel me right <laughs> got my Cora 3 yes oh my gosh it's so good so yeah message me if you guys need the link to the mirror I, th I really think it's a game changer all right so right now I'm taking the 4d mascara and I'm going from the base of the lash all the way up and you see how I'm kind of like pushing like that and then I kind of sweep along the backside. That is my favorite way to apply the mascara. I really feel like it gets it on there very, very good. And look at the length and volume, you guys. And that's so good. They literally touch my eyebrows. All right, so same thing on the other side. And you could do as many coats of this as you want. It's completely buildable without getting like clumpy or whatever. It's so good. It has fibers and gel infused in it. Just like that. All right, so then what I like to do is I like to take the waterproof epic mascara and like I said maybe I didn't say the mascaras are on sale in the kudos as well you get to pick any mascara so you get your choice of eyeshadow palette you get your choice of eyeliner and then you get your choice of mascara minor berry blonde and uh, scarce can never get them long enough any tips yes done you need the um, esteem lash serum makes your lashes grow like weeds Weeds, I tell you, weeds. And you can use it on your eyebrows too. You're going to use it every single night before bed. And then grab this combination that I'm using, the Lash Primer and the 4D. And your lashes will not look blonde or or sparse. Scarce. Sparse. Whatever. Thanks, can I use this booby brush to get my makeup out of my hair? Ooh, good idea, Terry. Yes, Lash Primer, for sure. That's what I lost my hair turned red. Oh my gosh. What kind of mirror did you say? So this mirror is called the Gala. And it's by Fancy, and my code with them is Raya15, if you know their website already. Otherwise, you could just message me, and I can give you the link to it. My earrings are from Lavender Blue, and my code with her is Raya20. But if you ever are shopping online, you're like, I think Raya has a code for this. Just message me, and I can tell you if I do or not. Okay, so now I'm using time for lips. So I'm going to use the lip liner in Prudent, of course. It's my favorite. Line I like this. And I like to overdraw a little bit. So how I like to overdraw, see where your lip color ends? You're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna put it right there. Right where your lip color or your lip shade, the pink of your lips ends, you're gonna start the pencil there. And you're just gonna follow the natural shape. And then here in the center, you're gonna go, you're gonna go off of where you put your lip liner, and same thing down here. And I like to just slowly go a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, and then bring it back down. Just like so. And then I like to fill in my lips a little bit with the pencil, like on a hole all over. Because these lip liners are smudge proof, so they really hold on to your lipstick really, really well. And then what I'm going to do, I use the Unique Sharpener. It's only $7 or $7.50, and it's amazing. It sharpens your lip liners and your eyeliners and doesn't, like, jack them up. It's so, so good. I've had this for four years. 
Whenever jaw looks down on me, Janice. So try to do little strokes. Don't go like heavy at first, like gradually get bigger. Um, so like your first time you're doing it just a little bit and then like a little bit more the next time, etc. The gallon about my daughter one. Oh, nice. What a good present. Oh, thanks, Dawn. Whenever jaw. Okay, so now we're going to use the liquid lipstick in the shade Sublime. I'm like almost out of this one. And I'm going to apply that right on top. And I take it right to the lip line, just like that. Same thing on top here. And I love this applicator. I love that it's tapered. See it has how it like dips. And you don't need a lot, you guys. This one's like almost out, so I'm kind of going a little heavier with it. But when it's brand new, wipe off a lot of that product. Okay. Is that so pretty? Oh, I love this color. So again, that was Sublime in the liquid lipsticks. And then I'm going to add just like a little glossy finish to it. I'm going to take the lip gloss in Lux, which is my favorite. And I'm going to pop it just in the center. Just like that. Ta-da! Yes, the sharpener is really good. So if I apply makeup, thank you. It really is the only sharpener that works. I've used a couple and they always like jack my pencil up. <laughs> Like, why? But this one's really good. It's under tools and then under more tools, I believe is where that is. There's also, I just realized this the other day, you guys. If you have trouble doing your eyebrows, Unique has these brow, like, stencils. They come in a pack of five, so you can see which one fits the best. They're under tools and they're under more as well. I just realized they were on there the other day, and I meant to tell you guys. But you hold it over your brow. Again, it's a, it's a legit stencil. It's so cool. So you put it on, and then you just color. So then you would just take your, your brow pencil, and you would literally just color it in. It's so easy. So if you have... Um, if you're just like really struggling getting your eyebrows to look just right, um, grab those. The, the brow stencils is what they're called, I believe. Um, but they're under tools on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. They have stencils. Yes. Isn't that crazy? I, we used to have them like three years ago um, as like a little promotion. They weren't like part of the line or anything. And then I went to get, I went to buy more tweezers. That's what it was. Unique also has these tweezers on there and they really, really, they're really good. They're like small, but they have, they're like perfect. And they're pink. So there's this on there under tools and you guys, it's free shipping until Friday. So if you've been like wanting to grab like the sharpener and you don't want to have to pay $5 shipping for something small like this, now's the time to do it. So go rayahopebeauty.com, look under tools. So click on the product menu and then you're going to click tools or accessories or whatever it says. I think it's tools. And then it says like more tools or something like that. I should know. I've been doing this for four years. Um, but there's like all kinds of fun little things out that are on there that I always forget about. So there's tweezers on there. There's the brow uh, sharp or uh, the pencil sharpener on there. And then the brow stencils. So cool. The brows always look different. Cheryl, our brows are sisters, not twins. I always have to remind myself that because mine always look different too. See how this one goes up higher? Just the way it is. I don't know. Canadians aren't included in free shipping. I believe they are. Yeah. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, so recap on my eyes. I did two liquid eyeshadows. We did the shade Overt and Reverent on our eyes. And then our lips, we did the lip liner in Prudent with the lip liquid lipstick in uh, Sublime. And then the lip gloss in Lux is what we have on today. And we mixed our foundations. We used the BB Flaws Complexion Enhancer in the shade Bisque. And then we mixed it with the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace. Yes, I will do a full product list of everything I'm wearing in the comments below. So if you haven't commented yet, make sure you say hello or hi or emoji or something. That way Facebook will alert you when I comment. Um, and then everything is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Everything has a love it guarantee. It's free shipping, no minimum until Friday. So get those orders in before Friday. Um, and I, I don't know what time Friday. I would think like Friday at midnight. So if you get paid Friday, I think you're going to be okay. Um, I'll try to co confirm with what time that ends. Um, but if you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure you do so. My name is Raya Hope there. I'm going to be giving you guys a closet tour. And I also am going to be styling a leather jacket five different ways. 
Um, I already styled it three ways right now on my posts, but I'm going to style it five more ways. So I hope you guys will join me over on my Instagram stories. Um, to access those, you just go to Instagram and then you click on my profile picture and then it'll start to play. Thank you. Is there a way to get a big package for makeup at a deal? Yes, Terry. If you go to my website, rayahopebeauty.com, under the product menu, there's going to be this little section called sets and collections. And then you're going to click on collections. All of those are different bundles pre-designed. Um, and there's a bunch to choose from. And they're 15% discount. They're already listed there at the discounted price, um, but you save 15% by buying them as the little bundles and you get to pick all the colors. So my favorite one is called Ready, Set, Prep. That comes with foundation, concealer, primer, setting spray, and a blush, and a free bag, and free shipping. So you get all seven of those things. Um, so I would highly recommend to check out the sets and collections. It's the biggest bang for your buck, to be honest. Yes, awesome, I'm so excited to help you. Yes, send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. I can tell you what to grab. The beauty box is for presenters. Yes, if you're wanting to do what I do from home, um, there's the beauty box, which is, it signs you up to be a presenter like me. All right, but message me if you guys have any questions, I'm here to help you. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.